these women make some very serious allegations against you. They say they were conned and threatened. They weren't conned and they weren't threatened. Are you the son of a billionaire diamond mogul? No, I am not and I never presented myself. I feel bad for something that I didn't done. No, I feel bad for what had ever happened to myself. I want to clear my name. I want to say to the world, this is not true. How do you fund your lavish lifestyle? I'm a legit businessman. You know, I bought uh, Bitcoin in 2011, which was nothing. I don't need to say how much it's worth now. You'd think with his notorious reputation in every corner of planet Earth, women everywhere would steer clear of this guy. But look who we found by his side. His beautiful girlfriend, Israeli model Kate Conlon. Kate, what do you make of these women's claims in the documentary? My God, it's like how someone can build such a fake story. I just had to ask. Kate, has Simon ever borrowed money from you? Of course not. So. I'm not a fraud and I'm not a fake. People don't know me, so they cannot judge me. These women have text messages, bank receipts, voicemail messages. Are you saying that they made all that up? They basically took everything, manipulated, added things to make it in a very narrative, which is one side, it's basically just to destroy my name and to destroy everything. I'm not this monster that everybody has uh, created. Your reaction. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. It's a serious matter. Yeah. But, but this is what we feel. We're yeah. laughing at him. It's a laughing matter. It's, it's not like, I'm not saying it's, that's the thing, like what he's done to us and so many others, with death threats and completely destroyed our lives has been abuse, we feel. But it's difficult to see him defend himself when it's so clearly what he's done. It's, if he has any evidence against us, come forward with it, but he doesn't. So what's, what's your reaction to him saying, I, I'm gonna do a reality show, they're talking about a movie, like Catch Me If You Can or yeah. Wolf of Wall Street? I just, I feel sorry for him, but I do mostly feel sorry for for his girlfriend because he is very good in brainwashing people and to brainwash someone that deep that this woman can actually sit and watch all of this and still believe in him. I, I just feel really sorry for her the day she wakes up and realize the reality. I think it's gonna be awful for her. Mm -hmm. You know, these, these two journalists, uh, Christopher and Natalie, they didn't just take a bunch of innuendo and stories, mm -hmm. these two, are responsible journalists. That's why I said they did such a wonderful job. They did their homework. They connected this with real evidence and they could have done this story in a tenth of the time, but instead they did their homework and documented what they said. So this story couldn't have been done without the trust of uh, Cecilia, both giving us her documentation and also being able to be exposed uh, in the media to tell her story. And, we really uh, respect her for doing that and Pernilla also for like uh, using themselves to prevent others from experiencing the same as they did. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.